How's it going, SGDQ? <laughs> we'll be running Grand Pooh World 3, one of the hardest Kaizo fan games ever made. It's 41 exits of grueling and creative levels. Oh, so long. Made by this man to torture this man. Do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> Uh, I'm Barbarous King, I made this. And I'm Grand Pooh World 3, and I'm his muse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm Grand Pooh Bear. Wait, not Grand oh, Pooh World 3, that's a game, yeah. That's fair. It's fair. late, guys, I'm sorry, you know. So we, uh, all exits was met earlier, so we will be doing every exit and every boss in this game. That is 41 total exits. <laughs> it's so many I'm, exits. Uh, I'm ready, I'm ready to, to kick this off. Right? All right. All right. All right. Help me count down. Five, four, three, three. two, one. Uh. So you may have noticed that uh, Barb is winning the Sprite Bid Wars. So we will be playing as the creator Barb. If you didn't know who that was, now you do. It's the man on the couch behind me. I, I swear I'm not an egomaniac and like made this game with me as the star. Uh, <laughs> if, if you beat a challenge in this game, you get to change like the look of, of Mario in this one. So I, I swear. There isn't a lot of sprites, <laughs> yes. to be fair. Yes. <laughs> including, including some people out here. Like there's some of the players that are out here have a sprite. Right. Um, some sprites are even broken, but that's neither here nor there. All the important ones made. <laughs> the important ones made. <laughs> so this is uh, this is level one. I always like to start off uh, ROM hack with like a fast, fun-paced platformer, and that's pretty much what this one is. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder than it it looks here. I've seen people take upwards of 20 hours just to get the first checkpoint. So this is one of those cases where this is much, much more difficult than he just made that look. Your first checkpoint there. Whoop. The theme of this level was to use like as many different kinds of weird platforms. And uh, in general with Grand Pro 3, like I wanted to like explore all different kinds of different sprites and custom things. Ooh. That that's a very tough mm. jump. That's a very <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sneak on past there. You know, what's, what's really cool about this run, you're going to see a lot of what Mr. Mighty Mouse is doing here, is that is it isn't just, like, a lot of Kaizo game speed runs are just play the game and don't die, but there's actually a lot of really cool speed strats that people have come up with, and uh, you're going to see a lot of those from Mr. Mighty Mouse today here. There we go. There we go. Oh, I thought you were just going to hit it on purpose. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah. not that That one. was level one. Level one down. Yo, there we go. One shot, baby. There we go. Yeah, we get you get the one shots out of the way. We'd love to see it. Deathless run starts now. Mm -hmm. Don't quote me. <laughs> you would never know it too, but he also dodged about like, I don't know, like four or five different Kaizo blocks all yeah. throughout that level. I, There's I like a the, lot. Yeah. I like to put them to where I can put them for maximum damage to the player's emotions. So <laughs> we get to do something Touch no grass. gamers ever do. Touch grass. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> So, okay, so th that he just solved a puzzle that Barb put in, right? <laughs> and it was the only hint we had was touch grass. <laughs> and I swear to God, there's like videos of literally people walking outside their house as if the hint was going to be literally outside <laughs> our house. Yeah, I think some people sent me photos of like their hand in grass. Like, yeah. what do I do now? Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to be returning to that level, but for now we need to go here first. Uh, the, the structure of this game is a bit weird, and you're going to see a little bit more of why, but we're, uh, we're on board a sunken ship now. Ooh. And this is uh, the Mario player's worst nightmare is going left. And, right. and reverse water. This water's reversed. Yeah. yeah, this water's reversed. I put that there to uh, piss off players as much as I could. <laughs> so the water's reversed, and as soon as you jump out of it, you're back to normal. Yes. So it's a really, really hard back and forth move right there. Kaizo block. There's, a, there's another, another Kaizo, Kaizo block, block right there. <laughs> and meth shark. Luckily, we don't have to deal with the shark. Uh, oh, no. Oh, come on. Boo. Now is a good time for donations, though, as we take a nice <laughs> leisurely swim. That poor shark. 
Yeah, okay, sure. How about this? Darth Roni donates $25. Hey, she's over there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Darth Roni. They say, poo hug, poo hug, poo hug. Chat, let's start $5 hype train to re recreate the best poo hug emote on Twitch. <laughs> the Grand Poo World Trilogy has brought a lot of memories throughout the years. I'm so sad it's over, but the hype lives on. Love you always, Mars, Mouse, Barb, and Poo. Mars, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. some who call me Bruh, Mars. I screwed up my own name earlier. Don't worry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> So this section's going very fast here, but in this section, uh, Mr. Mighty Mouse is actually moving the water with L and R. So he's the one controlling the water level here as he goes. Okay. You can see the fish there, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, um, Mouse is doing a lot of very small, like, optimizations here that are saving a lot of time for a Kaizo game. Especially one as long as yeah. this. Yeah. Like, they add up, man. Those seconds add up. Yeah. Any yeah. advice to new speedrunners? Those those half a seconds, they add up a lot. <laughs> for some reason, whenever this rope falls off, it falls off very fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I liked it, so I kept it. <laughs> Speaking of, for some reason, we have a, we have a Sonic fight. <laughs> so uh, a lot of I, I, this hack would not exist without a website called Super Mario World Central, Ooh. and this is just a boss that somebody made on Super Mario World Central, and I thought it was really cool. So this is one of the resources there. I, I made a Chuck boss out of it, and it was kind of a see the silly little guy. He swings his ball and chain back and forth. He isn't too tough. You are on a timer here, though, so if you don't get your hits at the oh, right uh, uh -oh. no, uh -oh. <laughs> uh, timer's looking a bit tight now. It might this be tough. Can I get him? Okay, uh, we can get him. Well, see, he doesn't go. The timer doesn't stop until he flies can off can the screen. Can we get him? Hey! Uh, one second. One Mario left. second left. <laughs> We're good. GG. One more than we needed, baby. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to head back to the level where we touched grass. We're going to go back on the normal route. See, at this point in the game, your options, you don't really have too many options of which levels you can play, but that's going to change shortly. Uh, the, these shells, you may recognize this in the music. These shells are more like Super Mario Bros. 2 shells, where you don't jump off them, you kind of ride them for a little while. And that was kind of the theme for this level. There's a Whoop. helper fish. He's there to say hello, wish you a good run. Mm -hmm. He's there to stop you from going too fast. The exactly. obstacle kills Hel you. Helps you learn. Yeah. <laughs> So the uh, piranha plant riding the shell there, that's a uh, sprite stacking, which might be one of the best custom code things they've done. That was a D to the fourth that made that tool. It's so good. So at this section, uh, you can hear the SMB2 music. Uh, if you hold down in this section, you gain the Super Mario Brothers 2 super jump. And it's a, one of the uh, stranger ASMs I just wanted to experiment with. And uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to mess with. So I made a quick section about that. Oh, you do that way different than I do that. <laughs> so I do a trick there where we hit the on off twice. Yeah. And that is going to let us skip a tough trick further in right here. Well, we don't. Oh, we don't even so need to do anything. Good. Oh, that's so <laughs> smart. Now we just go in the pipe. Well, God, I hate when I see such simple, smart <laughs> strats. Anything that we can do to make our life a little bit easier in this run, we 100% do. Because yeah, it is a hard run. Yeah. I know. Me too. It was so. I know. I hated that up throw. <laughs> <She was just laughs> so these uh, these sprites that are coming out there, these are uh, Yoshi's Island Bowser Blade sprites. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they were very strange sprites. I've never really seen too many people use them in ROM Max. I figured I would try messing around with them, and uh, you can do a lot of fun stuff with them, I found. There's like four Kaizo blocks there he just missed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this one's just like a, a nice, fun platforming level here. Yeah, I think when, when people think about Kaizo, they, they often think, like, I'm trying to make, like, the hardest possible thing yeah. I can. And that, that's really not what I try to do at all. I just I, I like things to be at least somewhat enjoyable, you know? Like, you can mix a little pleasure with the pain once in a while. Well, something I've, I've really, I've been talking about lately, too, is, like, one of the main differences with, like, 
the really great. Oh my time. God. Wait, time. Done. Wow, we're done. Done. Wow. Uh, all right. They, wait, 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 wait. The people paid for all exits. We got to do the rest. <laughs> they paid for all exits. So we'll keep going. Yeah, it took me four so years done. to make those couple levels. It was a lot of work. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, just giving players like a little bit more room, because you see in so many Kaizo games, they just make everything so compact, you know what I mean? And that, that's how you artificially create difficulty. Very true. And right. uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Before we can uh, move on with this run, we need to pick up the keys to our ride first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got to uh, enter this ship in a completely normal way. <laughs> now, you may have noticed we're locked on an island here. So, uh, we got to pick up the keys to our ride and head on out. <laughs> I'm sure you all recognize that as white and nerdy, which is all that is. So, the, the ship... No, Amish Paradise. What ship, am I thinking? The ship level is what allowed you to actually access the airship, and what the airship does, it lets you fly around uh, to choose whichever levels you want to do on the map. And that was kind of like the starting idea of like why I even made the hack to begin with. Like that'd be kind of a cool thing to do. So that was kind of my start off point. And it's actually made the routing for this game super interesting because there's a lot of sub worlds. So like just figuring out what the optimal way to go around every level and every world is because there's like four or five levels you can go to yeah. right off the bat. And not only the subworlds, like you can exit the subworld and it'll put you at a different place on the regular overworld map. Mm -hmm. So then there's, you know, it is, it is, it added a lot of fun to the, the routing and also it added a lot of fun to the first plays because if you were a viewer, you could go on someone's stream and like four people were playing just completely different Yeah, everybody stuff. went different ways. Yeah. yeah. So in this level, uh, you can see he's standing in the toxic gas there, and uh, if he has to enter the safe zones to like get his breath back every time, depending on uh, how what the color of the gas like or how toxic the Smash tournament is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a visual representation of the. I smash should have called this level the Smash. The tournament. Smash. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is the tricky pipe entry here. And right in. Oh, nice. Love this next section. Yeah. These pipes are so fun. I love these pipes. Yeah. These little quick pipes that we're going to throw around and go in and out to move around this level. Yeah, so these pipes on uh, are another sprite from Super Mario World Central. And uh, when I first started messing with them, they were like, they were crashing the game. They were causing so much lag. And uh, with the help of Kaizo Man and D the Fourth, we were able to like make some small improvements to them and they get, became much, much better. But they were borderline unusable at first, but uh, I think it ended up for a really cool level. Yeah, this trick's right here. Is, this whole thing's cool. So he still has to refresh his air every so often so he can't take too long. And that was that. Love. There we go. The quick section. Moving along. You're making this look real easy here, Mouse. Making this look <laughs> real easy. I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll take some deaths on purpose later. <laughs> those next deaths you see, those are on purpose. <laughs> I thought this game was hard. What the heck? Ignore the little level that pops up. That's just an illusion from the toxin. <laughs> your head's, a, your head's a little fuzzy. You don't see that. <laughs> I definitely didn't try to go to that level like 70 <laughs> times. All right, we're going to try and do a cool strat here. Oh, okay, I'll give it another try. That was on purpose. It was for yeah. me. I told you. It was entertainment yep. purposes. Yep. Yeah. That one also, again, for me. This is a tough strat. I'm not even sure what the strat he's trying to do is. Oh, this one's cool. <laughs> yeah, you haven't seen This one's cool. Oh. There we go. Right. So these, these uh, TNT blocks kind of function almost like keys, so you can jump off them, change your jump off them. But depending on the color, like the red ones explode almost immediately, the blue no. ones take a little longer. Oh. I knew, I threw that one too far. They're also tricky because you have to let go of run each time mm -hmm. you land on it. Otherwise, just like a P-switch, you're just gonna fall straight through. Oh, you got the strat again, look oh, at yeah. this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, we're feeling it. I mean, I gotta say, just like the amount of Mario talent in one room over here tonight has been kind of wild between, yeah. Yeah, between the relay, between the and, relay this and, this, and this, Sonic yeah. Save the World. Yeah, it's been wild. I 
think people are going to be able to tell I'm a big Street Fighter fan because there's so much Street Fighter music and I'm wearing a Street Fighter t-shirt. <laughs> people are going to figure that one out. So we activate that block early so we don't have to wait when it explodes. Right there. Yep. So if you, if you walk through the goal without blowing up that block that he did, you'll just walk into the lava and die. So it's a post-goal death. I like seeing the joy in the player's eyes like leave as they do that. Makes me smile. Well, because you instantly realize, too, like, <laughs> if you're playing this game at this point, you've had a few of them, right? So yep. you know, like, as soon as you hit that goal, it's like, yep. Yeah. All right, so. this would be a good time for a donation because we're just snagging a quick secret exit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, from Winnow, they donate $100 and say, all of us in the mouse pad know you're going to crush it. Good luck. Have fun. He is crushing yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. He is. <laughs> Defy is by default donates $25 and says, I just want to say good luck and most importantly, have fun to mouse in your Grand Pooh World 3 run. The entire Kaizo community is rooting for you. Pooh love. Nice. Don't worry, mouse. The whole community is counting the whole on community. you. The whole community <laughs> is counting on you. Everybody's watching Yeah. You. Nervous sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some more. Yeah, you can go and get some more. Okay, yeah. $100 from I Have One Big Eye. They say, hi, Grand Pooh World 3. I'm Dad. <laughs> hi, Dad. So on this level, the, you can see that there's a constant flow of dolphins just keep coming up and up. So they spawn on every certain number of frames. They're just nope. consistently always going to be there. As you can see, they can help you, but they can also greatly hinder you and kill you. So a little bit of a mix there. This end part's so... I know this doesn't look hard, but that part's <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah. technically timing. It's so hard. This is, I can't stress this enough, a very hard hack. Nah, man, it's easy. You're not even dying. Look yeah, oh, yeah. A... <laughs> okay, I didn't know you could just bring that block with you, though. Yeah, it lasts forever. It's your, yeah, it's your friend no block. It's your that. companion block that we instantly destroy. Learn that one today. So the kind of dolphin that follows you when you ride around, that was kind of inspired by a, a lot of different Morsel hacks. And uh, Morsel's an amazing creator who's made so many different hacks. And uh, I've definitely, he's definitely hurt me before, but I've been inspired. Uh, he's a very, very talented creator. And Whoa. look, another oh. helper fish. See? That fish crushed many a player Orb. on the blind playthroughs. <laughs> Orb. Yeah, there's no yumps in this, so we got to orb as much as we can to make up for it. <laughs> oh, my God, there are no yumps. There's no yumps. Oh. oh, I didn't even, I didn't realize that. I mean, you don't get them anyways. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know what? That Hit is the a, message block. No. That is a oh, yeah. blatant <laughs> we don't. We, yeah, we don't have time to read the message block, <laughs> Barb. And can you tell us what the message block says? <laughs> well, it describes where Mario gets these throw blocks. Because in this level, you can see Mario's just uh, making throw blocks appear, appear out of nowhere. So, like, where could they possibly be coming from? <laughs> Who, where are they coming from? Well, I mean, there's only so many places that a human could, or a, or a Mario in this case, could hide them. And, <laughs> and I guess, I guess, I mean, the technical term, this is the technical term in Kaizo, is the Marosi. <laughs> That's the technical term. It's science. It's science. I like the Jerry Springer reaction. I know, from the like, audience, so. like I, like I oh. made that. Oh. I went so high. Uh. Oh well. So you got one shot at that final pipe. You have to catch the dolphin at just the right moment and uh, kind of swoosh on in with the block there. Yeah. And if you die, there's no checkpoint in this level. It sends you right back to the start. So it's a quick level, but it's unforgiving. I like how I just got blamed for that joke, too. You just set me up. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I got your back. I was the one that put it in the game. but. <laughs> And they all groaned, and every one of them knew what it was. Like, you know, like they. <laughs> oh, how could he? Oh, no. no. Man, this level is a D pad check for yes. sure. Um, yeah, so what he's holding up to swim up fast, but then you're trying to throw these bri uh, bricks right, bricks left, and it's just very, very difficult. Yeah, I, I, I played many levels where you had to make throw blocks and you had to do a various platforming challenge, but I never played a water level that had to do it. So I was like, yeah, why don't I try that? And uh, that's that's kind of where this level came from. 
Also, I named this level Gill Issue, so any, I th feel like nobody's allowed to complain about it because, like, all yeah. I can say is, well, it's Gill Issue. You mm -hmm. know, it's like. <laughs> we can't complain, but we can groan at the pun. There you go. <laughs> There, there you go. go. Yeah. There we go. Orb. Orb. There's a lot of orbs in I, this. I orb. didn't realize how many orbs there were until I told an entire crowd of people to yell orb every time I got <laughs> one. Now I'm slowly realizing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're leaving this little cave area. We're going up to Shifting Stronghold. So to, to access like the final area of the game, you have to choose two of three of the main castles. There's a lot of choice in the game. So this is one of the potential three castles you can play. Uh, so this level, I was kind of inspired. Uh, there's, there's lots of uh, layer two castle levels where everything is moving. But this, the difference here is that to move the layers, it's that, that's not happening on its own. You have to control them yourself with L and R. So that means you have to platform and you also have to move the layers constantly to help you out. You're also on a timer too, so you have to go mm -hmm. fast, mm -hmm. so. The timer is the real kicker in this yeah. one, yeah. Because you can't just sit there and be like, okay, I'm gonna line it up. You have to do it all at once. Luckily for us, the timer isn't something we're really concerned with. You do have to say hi to Hank, though. This is the one portrait we see. Everyone say hi to Hank. Hi. <laughs> that is the one you can always see. Yeah. I have a $100 donation from Hank Sinatra. Hey! It says hi. Hi. Ha ha 2020. That's a cute little optimization right there. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. I think I stole that one from Lack Attack, actually. So this is the same theory as the first section, where in this case you're pressing L and R to move everything left and right. And oh, no, oh no! Oh. There is a slight amount of jank sometimes. <laughs> How dare you? There is no jank in this game. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's just part of playing a game from oh, 1991. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> this game was nope. made 30 years ago. What can you expect? <laughs> Did you see what we're shoving into Super Yo, Nintendo's that, you know, now? That's yeah, fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just lucky Bad Apple isn't showing up in the middle of my playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, that one, that one angered me. Or You know, that one angered some people. It didn't kill anybody, though. <laughs> I know. It was just there as like a ha-ha. I know, thing. it killed me. That, for, that one did kill me. I was oh, up did there. it? Oh, yeah. I need that clip. All yeah. right, so we, we're done with this island. We got to get in our ride. Can you put on hot drinks? I got you. I got you. The best Wendy's training video from the <laughs> 90s. <laughs> so you might recognize these. If you have play, ever played Shovel Knight, you might recognize these. Uh, mm -hmm. These are the snow blocks pretty much directly from Shovel Knight. I'd seen these in, in uh, the jump packs before. I love this block. I thought it was so cool. I, I really wanted to make a level themed around that one. Cool. And then, of course, this song uh, right here. The National Anthem. Yeah, this, <laughs> this song is in so many hacks, and it deserves to be because it is such a banger. It's a good song. Yeah, it's just a good song. We do have a fun strat here. Yep. Oh, oh. No, we got to go for that. <laughs> So the best part about this song is it has this little like breakdown here that basically lets you know you weren't good for the <laughs> for the level. He hasn't got it to it yet though. It's like the melody of oh, shame. Oh, we're going right? to it's the melody of shame. Yeah. <laughs> here it comes though. It bangs. Yeah, we we had to do it just for poo. That's again the deaths are for poo. Deaths for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Defab. All right. There we go. Nice. Little shell jump through there. That is not intended for the record. It's true, it's not. How, how much does that even save exactly? Like, <laughs> Let, like through. I legitimately think it's half, like, maybe. yeah, maybe a second. <laughs> it's got lots of swag. Though. It looks cool. Yeah, today. that's what matters. You never, you don't stop, so it's just like a full. I, I would do if it, I would do it if it was slower, to be honest. There was another Kaizo block right at the end there. There's a nasty Kaizo block on that final jump. It is right in the way. <laughs> when I made it, and I was out, so I made this on stream and I was testing it, people were like, where are all the Kaizo blocks? Well, you, didn't, you didn't put enough Kaizo blocks in it. And people were not saying that after the week of release. <laughs> <laughs> that was not. 
That's classic Twitch chat. Yeah, <laughs> this it is. All right, this was the one level that I was like, what the hell, Barb? What the <laughs> hell would you say? Now I love it. I love it now, but... Yeah, I kind of yeah. I kind of thought that's how people were going to react to it overall. But I was like, you know, I, I think I'm right, so yeah. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the gimmick it's the here, children who are wrong. Yeah, yeah, the gimmick here is, like, you know, you're on ice and you're moving, but when you change direction, you don't do it right away. It's like this delayed change direction, and it just makes everything hard and awkward. Yeah, it's uh, very slippery, and, like, it takes a lot of yeah. getting used to. Yeah. I mean, we've seen so many of the usual... Oh, there's a really tricky checkpoint here. Um, <laughs> there's a mean checkpoint. I definitely died yeah. here. <laughs> I think in my blind playthrough, I was like, there's no way Barb trolls me, and, like, right as I said that, I just flew <laughs> off the edge. Because <laughs> if, you, if you just land there, you just go right immediately and die. Yeah, that's true. So I, I kind of felt like, you know, we've seen the traditional Super Mario World ice level how many times, and I was like, I kind of want a different ice physics for this one. And I knew people were going to react to it a bit negatively, but I was like, eh, you know, I think it's cool. I actually didn't mind this one as much as most, but I'd also played uh, hacks that, that had, had this. this. Yeah, so I kind of knew what I was doing. It's It was one of those ones. It was like in Grand Pool World 2, I didn't like the poison mushrooms, then it was my favorite one to speak <laughs> You know, it, like, became my favorite one. It was the same thing here. It was... Like, I love this one in the room. So ring. he's got to keep yeah. these momentum jumps the entire way. Mm. Oh, that is... Uh... Wait, are you supposed to get the momentum for that? Well, is that the... uh... oh, yeah. It's Mezzabok there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to. I didn't know that. You're supposed to, and that's different in this version. Mm -hmm. That uh -huh. jump is a big chungus jump now. <laughs> All right, now would probably be a good time for a couple donuts, too. Yeah, absolutely. How about this? from Foff and Cake. They say, hey, Mouse, we're both rooting for you as you tackle a very difficult game. Thanks for demonstrating the mastery the Kaizo community is capable of, and go kick butt for charity. Wait, 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 wait. That was two people and one donation? Uh-huh. Yeah, they're gonna, need to, they're gonna need to run that one back, okay? Run that <laughs> one back. <laughs> The Blue Snake donates $5.15. They say, fan games are my favorite at every GDQ, and these three keep the hype strong at every event. Good luck on the run, Mouse. Also, hey, Pooh. Hey. How did Mr. Mighty Mouse get his name? Oh, that's actually a wonderful um, question. A lot of people think it's from the old Mighty Mouse cartoon, you know, um, but that's not true. Actually, my, uh, Mr. Mighty Mouse is a big fan of old NBA player Damon Stoudemire, who had that tattoo on his arm, 1990s Toronto Raptor legend. Um, I mean, to be fair, happened. I like him from his time on the sun. Oh, okay, yeah. that, there you go. So, yeah, that's actually, so he saw the tattoo and, and then said, that's a cool mouse that looks mighty. How do you 100%. have these ready all the time? 100%. Yeah, just ready yeah, to go, yeah. <laughs> actually, you know what's funny is the, the only other thing I ever think about with, besides him is Damon Sotomayor's right arm. With this, all, yeah. Also, no one's going to double check his tattoos. It's fine. <laughs> it's we fine. can just say it. <laughs> Oh, no, that's a real thing. David Stoudemire has a Mighty Mouse tattoo on his arm. Why do you know more about my lore than I do? <laughs> <laughs> I think the real reason is, the real thing we need to be asking is, why do I know the tattoos of 1990s mid-level point guard Damon Stoudemire? That's fair, you know? yeah. <laughs> Can anyone tell me why I'm getting donations in the voice of Stone Cold Steve Austin? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't know if I can attempt these, but tell you me when it. I have time. You got it. Am I doing this right now? Do, oh, I want to hear. No, okay. We're busy right now. Uh, <laughs> hey, Mario, that big old 500-pound some dude Bowser took the dang princess and used all the star power to put everyone in paintings. Now take your butt inside those paintings and recover those stars with a little bit of jumping. What? A little bit of punching. What? And a little bit of ball whooping. What? what? To save Princess Peach, and that's the bottom line. Because Stone oh. Toad said so. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I know nothing about wrestling. First of all, nailed it. I, you nailed it. I yeah. think you do know something about wrestling. Yeah. You had those what's on point. <laughs> you got the showmanship, which is like 90% yeah. of wrestling to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the mountain. This level infuriated me on my blind play. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I got there and I've been playing for a while, but the wall climb mechanic just, oh. This one hurt my hands. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is uh, definitely one of the tougher levels in the game for sure. There's like a, so as you can see, whenever he climbs the wall, there's like a grip meter. It's almost like a Breath of the Wild style, like how long you can hang onto the wall at all. And uh, as you see, he has to climb up and keep advancing past all the spikes. And Finn's uh, got one of these. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't jump. So that might look like really simple, but even really experienced players got hard stuck on that one. Mm -hmm. That's that's honestly just a straight up knowledge check for for a lot of players. You can still mess it up even if you're extremely skilled at the game. Uh, you have to jump duck under and then quickly jump again past it on the very steep slope. If you've never tried like moving on a very steep slope in Super Mario World, it is probably the worst oh. thing you can ever do in this game. Oh, yeah. It just throws you off. It's so bizarre. I think there's a long clip of me going, he put in a slope muncher and just <laughs> complaining for like five minutes straight. I think that's exactly why I put yeah. it in. That's, that's exactly <laughs> he knew, he knew I, I specifically would complain about that. <laughs> Well, you know, Link Dead made an entire hack of just uh, yeah. that. He looked at it, like, smiled and never died to it. He just, like, <laughs> went right past it. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, a, that's a way trickier move than it looks. I don't know. That one looked tricky. It does look tricky. <laughs> And no, I don't yeah, think so. That fish killed me. Yeah, that that was a particularly emotionally damaging fish there for some people. That one definitely <laughs> got me, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, this this song, I don't know if you recognize it from Metroid Prime. I have to give a shout out to G Gamer who made this. He, he is like such a talented music porter for Super Mario World. And I cannot believe that the Super Nintendo is making these sounds. Like he's just so talented at this. Uh, uh, G Gamer, Composer, and Dan the VP did a ton of the music for this game, and they just did an amazing job. What's funny is I knew it was Metroid Prime, so I was like, it's probably G Gamer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. Because <laughs> he also did the, I think it's Metroid Prime music and like Grand World 1, right? That's right. Yeah. He's like such a nice dude, too. He's like, yeah, I'll make music, sure. It does kind of like all the stuff we can do with a Super Nintendo still now to this day. I'm like, why do we have new consoles? <laughs> why do we need these? Okay. This is the last jump here, a little tricky jump, spin that across. Cool. Oh, there you go. There we go. Very smooth. That's a, that's a rough level because there's a lot of places to die and the level sections are long. Yeah, that's, a, long. that's a long one for sure. Um, this run is freaking amazing we, right now. We're, we're <laughs> a little spicy. <laughs> Listen, oh, God, I love this level so much, guys. This is the first of what we'll call, I guess, like the boss levels. It's so good. This level's so good. You may notice slight inspiration from another game. <laughs> So in this level, um, I, I removed Mario's ability to jump entirely. So what Mario does in this instead is that he reverses gravity every time he jumps. So he'll reverse from the ceiling to the floor over and over. And there's just so many cool little visual moves in this that I love. Like the, the way you get under the charging chuck, that right there. Mm. Also, the music is just the music a banger. Bangs. That move, I love that move. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. Get a nice little speed strat here. If you ever notice like a really awkward jump like that, there was a Kaizo block there. There was, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then this section right here, I mean, these swamp jumps are so pretty. So this was a track that was done by uh, Dan Salvato, I believe, from a uh, Bomberman game, I believe. Man of many talents. Yeah, it, he, he truly is. <laughs> really is. I played Doki Doki Literature Club for the first time this year. I sent him a DM of just like, dude, you melted my brain, you know? <laughs> So here he's spin jumping across the ceiling there. I thought it was so awkward that I had yeah. to put that in. <laughs> so this is a boss fight, uh, and uh, I don't, I, I, I'm sure many of you remember, familiar tonight, D to the fourth. 
Uh, she is just an incredibly talented individual. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came to her with the idea of like a VVV style boss fight at the Gravitron. And uh, it was a lot of work back and forward. And I really have to say that this, this fight here, what, what you have to do in this fight, you have to constantly avoid the projectiles and survive for a certain amount of time. Uh, and Mr. Mighty Mouse is just, I'm not sure he's going to take a hit at all. He's just, uh... Why are you going to do that? Why are you going <laughs> to jinx me? Yeah, this one was definitely one of the, like, really, really fun surprises. And just like, again, look at what the Super Nintendo can do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> What if Nintendo, what if they were like, you know what, screw the Switch 2, we're just going to bring back the Super Nintendo. <laughs> it's back. Yeah, it's Super Nintendo back. Pro. Yeah. So Ooh. there is an amount of RNG here as to when the winning, uh, the winning orb will show up. And you can also wow. miss it, too. Wow, you're getting, you're, ooh, wow. Yeah, this is kind of bad, bad luck. This is real bad luck. Oh, man. Oh, wow. OK. So it can show up around one minute, so this is actually like really bad. There it is. Uh, no. oh. <laughs> All right, we didn't take damage. You're right. Wow. <laughs> see, I was right. I was giving you confidence. So you're going to see our first instance of moving in the overworld with our airship and like tactically moving from place to place. So we're going to go over three and up and just we're going to come out right where we need to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so depending on where you leave an area with the airship, it actually affects where you end up on the overworld. So I, I made like the only ROM hack with overworld like movement optimization, I guess, like that. So. And right. it was fun. And that was, I had a really good time. We had great times <laughs> routing that, so. Now would be a good time for a couple donos. Yeah, absolutely. $100 from Fast Forward who says, that Stone Cold impression was performance art. <laughs> By God. <laughs> Thank you very much. $300 from Jump Attack. Hi, Mouse, you're killing it. Yes. $1,000 from Maddie Thorson. Yo. And Maddie says, the SMW community rules. You rule, Maddie. Thank you very much for that. Maddie does rule. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so these, uh, these falling leaf sprites, whenever you show an SMW player these, they'll almost always go, oh. Uh, oh, no. Uh, no. OK. Ah. Uh... See, I'm kind of, see, look at how a nice guy I am. Pay a visit even, to Pensive Link Dead. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy. But yeah, most Super Mario World players, when they see these leaf sprites, they kind of groan and they're like, ugh. And I, I might be one of those, but Ooh. Uh, at the same time, I actually think there's a lot of cool things you can do with these leaf sprites. So I decided to try to use them. I actually did that a lot in the game where it's like a terrible sprite that's like nobody likes. Let me try to make something cool with it. And, uh, and there's still leaves in the and end. And they're still terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, you can see here, there's a lot of optim. I mean, pretty obvious optimizations that Mouse is doing right. Oh yeah, we don't need we don't need most of those. Skipping blocks. those leaves, you know. Um, and again, these things just add up, and they're really special to have in Kaiser Realm Hacks. A lot of Kaiser Realm Hacks, again, they're so tight they don't leave you that room, or that freedom to do something. I like, like some that. leeway. Like yeah. I think it's really special to give players leeway, but still be hard as hell, you know. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Now, if you're somebody who's familiar with any kind of Donkey Kong runs, you might recognize the next level. It is, it is a classic of Donkey Kong runs. Yeah, I'm a big Donkey Kong Country fan, love Donkey Kong. And uh, this features some of the sliding ropes, uh, which were mostly from like Donkey Kong Country 3, right? I believe so. Yeah. Whoop. Second half of this level is so amazing. So the different color ones uh, pull you in a different direction on each one. Uh, you have to re-grab them each time you jump off, so you have to make sure you're pressing up every time. And it's pretty easy whenever you're grabbing ropes or vines or anything like to start to fumble that. It's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, it's, this level is definitely a D-pad check. There's a, another Kaizo block there. <laughs> yeah. He's, then, try, he's trying to get me. It's a friend block. It's, it's going to help you. Yeah, in the second half here, it's a lot of, like, have, being able to let go of up and then re-grab it at the right time. As you see, even when he's just climbing right here. He's actually constantly jumping up the rope to just go that little bit faster each time. 
Yes, it's like the, the game has become very optimized already, and people have taken Grand Portal 3 farther than I thought they ever would, so. The frames do add up. Yeah. Speedrunning, man. Speedrunning in 2024, you get two months before it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. You get no months if it's an early access. I was going to say zero, <laughs> zero months if it's a Nintendo game leaked a week early. <laughs> There's too many Australians now. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't know nothing about that. I don't know what y'all are talking about. No. Oh, oh that's a rough one. So there, there's a technique in Super Mario World you often hear called a re-grab. And what that means is like you bounce off of an enemy without holding jump, but you have to repress it. And uh, that final jump there is like a really tough re-grab. Very easy to miss those. Yeah. Um, honestly, like re-grabs are the core of Super Mario World Kaizo. Yeah. Yeah. They're almost so much of a misnomer because we basically do them on every yeah. jump. Yeah, right. But that one specifically is like when we don't even do a real bounce. It's just re-grabbing jump after we hit it. Once you learn how to re-grab like really effectively, I mean, you can start like throwing your shells for shell jumps like anywhere you want and just adjust to it. Yeah. And you just get so much more control over Mario that you can really just wizard through the games. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's really like where you kind of learn to like, man, I love Super Mario World is where it's like, wait, I don't hold jump on every jump. I don't mm -hmm. just hold B. Yeah. And that's where, uh, that's where you really like, oh, okay, this game is awesome. Yeah. It's the Smash Bros. Melee of Mario. Mm -hmm. is. And it is just those like extra frames of fall falling when you're not holding jump really makes the difference. Some uh, more Donkey Kong music here. One of the hottest optimization. Wait, do you do the, you do the left first? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I go left first. Never mind then. <laughs> um, Listen, we got optimizations here say, too. I just want to say that Barb was making this game long before Mario Wonder came out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We say that because you know. Long. It is, it is true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this ASM has actually been on SMW Central for like a decade. It's been there for a real long time. So for this level to even be accessible, uh, if you if you recall earlier, we were talking over it, but during the bubble level, that playing that bubble level is what made this level available. So that's actually a really sick speed strat right there to skip the platform and just keep moving forward. So the bubble, you're allowed to jump off of it, but you can only have one bubble out at a time, which means that you kind of have to do a lot of different strats and finagling with the area. There's a Kaizo block there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. There's another one. <laughs> Whew. Ooh, hot. <laughs> that was clean. <laughs> All right, back in. Now for the optimized uh, section that Pooh wants. Uh, this is, I mean, this is just one of the greatest skips, honestly. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's just such a good, beautiful skip um, coming up. And not only that, it skips like a very long level, so. Yeah, well, I think we blatantly stole the skip coming up in the second half of this section from the TAS. You know what annoyed me too is my chat was like, oh, I bet you could just run it, burn that shell of back course, up there. Of course, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> no, chat, you can't. And then it. <laughs> anyway. So these uh, sequence of blocks, they're obviously on a different timer. There's like a bunch of different kinds of blocks mm. that are, uh, on and off here. Whoop. That was nice, dude. The second half of the section is a little different. Whenever you hit the switch, the blocks are active for a certain amount of time. Uh, we're not going to be seeing too much of this section, though, because uh, people discovered a, a way to kind of skip a significant amount of it, and I'm still mad about it. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to do this really big, large loop and you come back to the beginning, uh, but instead we're going to use this shell. Whoop. So what happened there is we threw the shell and it fell back down on the switch yeah. and activated it. And that's a lot harder to learn than it looks like, oh, that was so simple, but it's a lot harder to learn and figure that out. I think that was, that was taken from the task, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. That was one of the few things we saw from the task where we were like, we could do this. We got this. <laughs> So these Resnors can only be damaged by a throw block, and uh, you also have to when you. Oh, that was that was a really solid. Block. <laughs> that was that was really nice. Good. <laughs> Jesus really Christ, we're cruising. Dude, we are cruising right now. <laughs> you gotta slow down. I wanted some more TV time, man. Like, <laughs> All right, next level. I'll die some no, for no, you no, next no, level. No. no. All right, we gotta take off. Mm -mm. Boom. 
right where we need to be. Never seen such optimized overworld movement in a hack. <laughs> So this is uh, this level is one, uh, one of a series of levels I made in the game where I kind of revisited uh, a level design or like an idea I had from an older game. Uh, this is like the first level of Grand Pool World One, and since I think this is like the last ROM hack I'm gonna make, uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to like <laughs> revisit some of these ideas. This is kind of a shout out to the first level of Grand Pool World One, and significantly more difficult, obviously. I don't know. That was a pretty hard level back. <laughs> yeah, back, back in the day, that was a tough level. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure it's still tough. It's still tough. I've watched Laser pick this back up. Level one, still pretty tough. Point. You're just Jesus sailing through this, Christ, man. dude. <laughs> You're just so. It. So this level was a Grand Pool World One throwback. But that is not the only throwback in this level. <laughs> you may potentially recognize our old friend, Charles, from Grand Pro World 2. So this version of the Chuck, is, uh, it's, it obviously comes from the Grand Pro World 2 Chuck boss fight. But this Chuck has some, uh, some changes and some new attacks. Now the question, are we actually going to get a chance to see it? From if Mighty I was about to say, dude. <laughs> Ah, so he can summon clones of himself to attack uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. Oh, that's going to be tough. Oh. No! Oh, oh, no! I knew. I knew. I was like, but the fish was coming. I had to try and get him. Mm -hmm. So the... Uh, There's the your death, boo. <laughs> so the baseballs are the same as they were in Grand Pool 1. They just sail off the screen. The tennis balls bounce off the wall and try to hit you from there. So they're a little bit different in this one. Does he always throw baseballs with that pattern? Uh, no, I okay. think it's RNG. All right. I didn't know if you were... The f that attack is like, I swear, that's mm. the only attack I just don't know how to handle. What, when it's two footballs and a rock? Yeah, when, like, it, when, yeah. when it's mixed, when either it's way. Mixed, yeah. Yeah. This, this fight can very quickly get out of your hands. It's, it, it's very tough. I don't mind two rocks and a football, but yeah. two footballs and a rock, I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, there's the tennis balls. We're just staying safe over here. Gah, every time? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, so some of his attacks are RNG, so you're never quite sure exactly what he's going to do. Kind of some brute force there using the mushroom to make sure he dies, which is kind of a smart play. No! Oh. Oh. So we got to hit him twice right here, or he is going to go... Oh, oh get go. out. <laughs> so in, in Grand Portal 2, the Chuck chases you and explodes. In Grand Portal 3, he runs away, and unless you kill him, the screen goes white, and it's like a nuclear explosion, and you die. So you have to kill him in Grand Portal 3. All right, we're going to grab two <laughs> quick free exits, so this is definitely a good time for donos. All right. Hey, I should have shouted this out a long time ago, but thank you, gamers, for helping to raise $1.3 million Yo. for NSF. <laughs> Donations are still pouring in. Your generosity is so appreciated. Ashley FL donates $25. They say, Mouse, you are killing it. So proud of you tonight. We're all cheering you on in Discord. Also, hi to Barb and Pooh. Have fun, guys. So fun cheering you on. Mouse, go, Mouse, go. Nice. nice. Thank you. You are killing it. I'll try. <laughs> uh, this next one is a little confusing. $25 from Trogdor576. They say, I have been waiting all week to watch Grand Pooh Bear play Mighty Mouse World 3 with Barb <laughs> on the couch. I mean, Mighty Mouse playing Barb King World 3 with Pooh on the couch. That sounds right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing it. wrong there, I don't think. Thank you to Sans Serif for donating $25. They say, I love SGDQ. The vibes are immaculate. Yeah, shout out to the vibes. The vibes. The vibes. The vibes. $25 from Terror Fecta. They say, this is a poem for our host who said he'd like poetry most. You'd prefer a haiku, but well, from me to you, limericks are just more fun to post. Thank you. And they say, here's to hitting 1.3 million. So I've, I've never played it, but uh, there's a game called Shinobi 3, and I was kind of inspired by a level from Shinobi 3 where you ride a horse and there's like platforming and stuff. I was like, well, Yoshi's kind of a horse, right? We can make a level like that. Don't, don't start that discourse again. <laughs> Apparently people have heated opinions on it. What, if Yoshi's a horse? Yeah. 
It's a heated discussion. So these blocks you can see are changing Yoshi's color, and as you know, in, in Super Mario World, depending on Yoshi's color, changes his abilities. So here he can fly, but then when he goes through there, he nice. loses that ability. He's not not a horse. He has horse-like attributes. He does. I like to think of him as a doggo, but I know that's probably wrong. Ooh, I, I definitely yeah. don't want to think of him as that. <laughs> So this is a required mid-air shell jump. Oh, first try, easy. First try, mid-air, he's a god. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, you know what? There actually is a jump in this game, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, There's you're a right. required jump. You're right. You're right. If I nail the jump first try, I want to see a $5 dono train. <laughs> it's, it is tough. It's tough, I'll admit. It's a Yoshi jump, I mean, so. Oh, a Yoshi really jump is even worse. Way you can't use both buttons with a Yoshi jump. You ditch Yoshi. True. Yep. I want all those $5 to go towards killing the animals, too. Just saying. <laughs> it's currently winning. Let's go. I mean, we are going to kill some Yoshis for you. That's so fair, yeah. Better. So you might notice that this Yoshi, like, looks really weird. Uh, this Yoshi kind of moves more like the frog from Donkey Kong Country. Isn't it Winky is his name? So he doesn't really, uh, he doesn't tongue or do anything. He actually just bounces whenever he jumps. Okay, here's Here it the is. Young. Oh, wow, oh, first try. Wow. First try. Wow. <laughs> when have you ever seen such a gamer with such skill? <laughs> Oof. Dude, the way chat was popping off when I was first playing that level. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, every time. <laughs> Whoop. This is another different Yoshi. This one, uh, this one has a horn and shoots fire from his mouth. And in this section, you have to use that fire to advance. And also throw away Yoshi once you're done with him, as you do with all Yoshis. Disposable tool. Exactly. Tools, not jewels. <laughs> This section, you actually have to hit yourself with Yoshi's fire to send Yoshi flying through. I like this part. When Yoshi's in walls, he just shoots up, by the way. That's what happened right there. Yeah, Super Mario World's a bit of a jank game. Mm -hmm. A jank. Ooh. There's a Kaizo block right yeah. there, too. There's three Kaizo blocks there. <laughs> if, you, if you land early and you try and jump out of the way of that fireball, there's three Kaizo blocks waiting. Yeah, yeah they're really hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> You can see like either path he took led him to that level. So there's actually like there's built in like options as to what you want to play in the game. So for the any percent route, that means that you can like optimize and choose which levels you want to play. Now for all exits, you're gonna play everything anyway. So But we still had to optimize the route because we still gotta get around all exactly. of them, you know. And it's um basically like it kind of if you looked, you start in the middle, you go up left, come down right, and then you end up back in the middle. Um, once it's all said and done, um, because there is a super secret hidden level over on the left. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. This was a, this game was super fun when it first came out. <laughs> it was so much fun. So this is uh, another level that was uh, it was something I did in Grand Pearl 2. Now it's not really a water level. It's more like kind of the Mega Man Shovel Knight style, really floaty jumps in the water. And I made a level in Grand Pearl 2. I didn't do too much with it. I kind of was like, I bet I can revisit that and like do a lot more. That was a great first try, by the way. That was awesome. So I, I utilized the same physics and decided to uh, revisit and make a whole new level with it. And this is, this is one of my favorite levels in the game. I love playing this one. Uh, this Fugu cannot be killed. He cannot be bargained with or reasoned with. All you can do is avoid him or use him. And he's annoying right here. Oh, he's annoying right there. Oh, he's on you. Yeah, he's nice. That was like, nice. There we go. That was really good. I do take an intentional death here because there's going to be fish swimming by, and that fixes their position. So the fish position, they're, 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 they're actually reskinned eeries that are flying in. You can see that oh. the crab is not only throwing rocks, he's also spewing like fireballs periodically. The hitbox on those is wa is wild. They are nasty. <laughs> yeah, you got you have to stay way out of their way. Yeah, the fireballs are the real danger here. Um, and also you're, you're trying to be as fast as you can. You don't want to miss any of your ammo going on here. Um, but also I was I was really happy to see this sprite finally used in ROM hacks. <laughs> 
Now, mostly this this sprite yeah. is associated with like bad ROM hacks. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I was like, ah, I bet I could use it. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, I didn't. All right. Someone, someone, please get us some of that three-headed Hydra from SMB2 ones. I see a lot of the flame guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah fry guy, right? Fry guy, yeah. This is not gonna go. Yeah. This either we just nail it first try, or it takes us a bit. Listen, crabs are the ultimate life form. I mean, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> All right. He's crustationing you, like crush. No. That was that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm timing myself out my own chat. Yeah. Ten minutes. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Also, he takes a thousand hits. <laughs> Isn't like five? Yeah. <laughs> it's Might as thousand. well be a thousand. It's like a thousand. <laughs> Oh, I yeah, didn't so even see that one. This is this is just it's just a tricky fight. There we go. Well, it's nice that you're dying a little bit. That way we're like, oh yeah, this game is hard. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's you You've need been a reminder. Kind of slaying it. Pretty yeah, you, hard. you need a reminder yeah. every once in a while. You've been kind of slaying it. Oh my God, those fires. <laughs> All right, all right, let's go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Ah, I took it out. Oof. All right, we can head out of here. Now we're going to go to the super secret level. There is... No hint in the game where this level is, for the record. Yeah, the, the thought process was that it'd be cool if, like, maybe, like, years down the road, somebody would find this level and be like, what is this? But, uh, of course, so many people playing it and searching everywhere. I think people went systematically every tile to try to find this, so. Yep. It's a classic RPG overworld, just, like, something <laughs> hidden in the middle of nowhere trope. I, I think if you wouldn't have attached the bridge to this level, mm. It might have stayed hidden for a while, actually. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So this is the uh, same time stop mechanic from Grand Portal 2, where uh, each time you hit the the clock block there, that uh, you will freeze whatever sprites you hit. So like this throw block gets paused, the shell is getting paused, and uh, you have to navigate the obstacles by doing that. Oh, that's cute. Ooh. This, this level was a ton of fun to make. It's it's really I love fun. this level. It's a ton of fun to play. These right here it was the up throws that Ooh. I thought were so cool. So uh, a key is actually a sprite, just, just like a Goomba or a shell or anything. So when you kick it up and hit the block, it actually will store that movement going up. So you have to periodically ride the key up through these invisible blocks just so you can make it. And uh, it, was, it was a ton of fun to mess around with this. I got to say, like, that was one of those moves that as soon as it happened, I just, I popped off. I was like, <laughs> oh, that's so cool, you know? Got a tough pipe entry here. Whoom. Oh, nice. And when it's a cool section, you need to make three sections, oh, right? So yeah, yeah. I just kept making stuff. I, was yeah. just, I think I just made this section because I was like, I'm having fun. Let's just make another section with it. Why not? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> this is the way the key moved right there was pretty funny. Oh, That's so hard. I don't wow. Know. He's just showing off. That's so hard. <laughs> yeah, we we skipped a time freeze by going faster than you normally would. Yeah, that was that was actually legitimately like a seven second skip right there. Oh. Uh, it was important. He's going to uh, have to uh, uh. do. Oh, we nice. Oh, we're good. Oh, that just annoyed me. <laughs> we don't need that. Other I clock. haven't seen that one before. <laughs> Oh, I hadn't seen that one yeah. before. How did you miss up. that one, dude? Uh, what do you want me to tell you, man? <laughs> <laughs> this uh, boss is a little wacky. Whoop. This boss is just for fun, man. It, yeah, this is literally just for fun. That was really solid. There we go. Yeah.
I just thought it was funny to see the res yeah. Yeah. going so fast. Yeah. So. <laughs> Listen, not everything has to be serious. It's okay. Exactly, right. I think you've, have you, I don't know, you still have to do the left side right there, right? Yeah, Luigi levels up next. That's right, Luigi. Oh, wait, change, before change we do, that. yeah. Right. We have to change temporarily chat to the Mario sprite because this is the Luigi level. And uh, he only shows up if you go in as Mario. Yeah. And as you can see, there was a plenty, a large collection of sprites <laughs> in there. All the important ones are functional, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd, I'd made a Luigi level in Grand Portal 2, but there was really, Luigi was just exactly like Mario, and I was like, well, like, what if I made, like, a level themed just around Luigi's jump mechanics in this one? So Luigi is, I, I think Luigi's really fun to control. He has, like, the craziest regrabs you would ever see. He's also incredibly slidey. Oh, There's yeah. also some, like, unintended speed yes. stuff you can do with Luigi also, so. Yes. He is on, he is on rollerblades in this for sure. <laughs> Only backwards, though. He, like, go-go gadget. You know, like, Inspector Gadget? This is really old. I'm making, really dating myself here. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm a young kid. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know. I know the three of us all know this one, all right? Um, but he would always, like, have his uh, rocket roller skates, and they'd always go backwards. Luigi's got those two. <laughs> Damn he, it. I'm ruining. Uh, no, he does. We, we, call, no, we, we call him the zoomies in this. You'll see the... Inspector the, Gadget is so skibbity. The first time yeah. we do it is right here. We go a little bit faster. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> You really, you really rizzed through that pipe. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Rizzed through that pipe right there. Please stop. <laughs> You're physically paining me over here. Yeah. <laughs> Hurts. Why don't you go back to Ohio, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this level is the bane of the existence of many a casual player. Okay, here's the thing about this level. You have this really, really hard level, and then you have a boss fight. But there's no checkpoint before the boss fight. <laughs> and it's not necessarily the hardest boss fight, but it is not easy, <laughs> and it is so annoying. <laughs> I feel like 30 years from now, somebody's going to find me and be like, why didn't, no. you, put, why didn't you put a checkpoint <laughs> in that boss checkpoint. fight? Checkpoint. <laughs> Cursing your name playing this the first time. Yeah. What's funny is I just struggle with the level proper more than I do the boss fight nowadays. Oh. I say that knowing full well I just jinxed myself. <laughs> yeah, probably. Dude, it's a hard boss fight, man. It's it's a it's a panicky boss fight. It is, is what it is. Yes. Well, Doesn't, see if if I had the if I put a checkpoint you wouldn't panic. See? It's that's fair. why. You'd be like, "Oh, I can just try this a million times." So you're saying right, it you're right. it wouldn't be as bad as it is, as it is if you put it midway. We is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, you would have two or three shot it anyway. You yeah. have to have yeah, something midway. at stake. No, you're, right. a boss you're absolutely fight. right. Yeah. It's like it's like in, in Dark Souls, you know, when you have the in Elden Ring, you got the graces right outside. Mm. You just rock Ooh. back in there. But in you know in DS One, you might be sitting there for yeah. a while. I love There's that. the uh, rocket skates on Luigi. Yeah. Couple of tough more regrabs, and we're coming up on the boss fight here. I believe Mr. Mighty Mouse has some manipulations for this boss fight. We do, really? we do, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> so this Magic Koopa takes repeated hits. Oh, that was really scary. <laughs> no. no. Oh, oh that was yeah. sick. Uh, it was a. Uh... No, I needed that shell. So Magic Koopa's magic is it works very strange. He can spawn a number of different things. There, we go. Uh, there you go. Nice job. So if you die in that fight, you go back to the beginning of the very long section. Yeah, it's, it's the first brutal. time it hit people on their blind playthrough, they were like, he didn't. <laughs> I know what kind of jerk made this. <laughs> so now we're going back to the level we first started with when we got the airship, and we're gonna do the secret exit. <laughs> I guess you should change back to bar blue. Oh, do it, you, know do it. you can do it. Later. Yeah, no, I can do it now. Okay. We got time. You, why don't you play? Why don't you play as you know maybe maybe me? Listen, I'll, I'll play. I'll play as you later. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'll fix it someday. <laughs> I actually, I don't want you to. If anything, I want you to make it harder. Yeah. So, so this level, we, we were here earlier when we got the exit with the pipes, but you can actually go the left side. You can go to a completely different level. So you actually have a choice as the player which one you would want to do. This has those little mini warp pipes again, and they're just so cool. Yeah, they're super fun to play with. They yeah. really are. Yeah, ROM hackers, like, feel free to just throw one of these levels. Oh, yeah. This, Every I feel like Yeah, I feel like this should be as standard as Ultra Stars and hacks from now on. So in this side of the level, the water is toxic, so he has to get out of the water periodically to get his breath back and uh, be able to continue throughout the level. I love this part. Uh, I've what? never seen that. I love that one. <laughs> yeah. I have not seen that before. That was slick. Yeah. You're supposed to take that first pipe like all the way down there and throw it down and jump to the other one, and we just we just skip all that. We don't we don't need to be doing that nonsense. Yeah, that one's real cool. So we got to go all the way down here now to get another P switch because there's an entire wall of invisible blocks there. So you have to swim all the way back up and avoid all these. Oh, and right that's, a nice, that's a nice oh, time yeah, save. That was a yeah. nice, nice little optimization. That was, nice. that was a pretty little optimization right there. I enjoyed <laughs> nice. that one. Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. That and it, it was also hitting the brick right there. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Time for the coastal elites. <laughs> <laughs> this is another uh, a sprite people think is cursed on Super Mario World Central. These fling blocks. I think these blocks are amazing. I love these blocks. Yeah, I don't cool. mind them. So whenever you jump on the, the yellow blocks, they turn blue. You can no longer jump on them unless you hit the ground. The red ones will fling sprites up. So you can see that the sprites are being bounced up periodically. And you, you can fall through them if you try to jump on them there. That little rotation is harder than it looks. Can't stress this enough. Everything in this game is yeah. harder than it looks. <laughs> that was, he has to take a yeah. death right there if he wanted to get that checkpoint. Yeah, you can you can continue the level without getting the checkpoint there, but it's probably nice in a marathon to have a little yeah, safety no. and not try to YOLO. And <laughs> Saves like three seconds. Sorry, I'm just in awe right now. Yeah. You've been slaying, dude. You have been absolutely slaying. <laughs> yeah, you're doing slaying. great. Huh? There we go. That's another troll that got most people on their first playthrough. Yeah, so the, the disco shell can hit the fling blocks there as you're walking after you grab the orb, and it will kill you. <laughs> yeah, that one was... Really, that's your fault. I mean, that that's, one it was, was funny, obvious. Though. Yeah, that one was It's funny. the player's fault. All right, not we because probably... you think it's the one behind you, right? Yeah. So you kill the one behind you. You're like, oh, no, I got you. I, I figured that one out, you know? And then, like, and then the one just comes flinging at you all of a sudden. Uh, I love the sprite stacking so much. Uh, this level's themed around the sprite stacking with bats and all different weird things you can do with uh, sprites on bats. Like Bean a, bat? Yeah, bean bat. Shell bat. Shell bat, yeah. That really is one of the best ASMs. It, like, any combination you make is awesome and fun, I swear. <laughs> I don't think I've played a bad level that used this. I think that, again, it was the D to the fourth that made this tool. I, I was about to say, I feel like every level I've ever played is pretty banging with yeah. stacks. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now would be a good time for some donos, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, we got a yump train going. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> From Gabnon, $5, <laughs> thanks. $5 yump train, let's go. We have... <laughs> from... Uh, well learned. Uh, from Lexological, they donate $5 and say, yumping on this train. I don't normally donate to kill the animals, but, well, the people on TV told me to. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Banjo Apocalypse donates $5 and says, sick yump. I, I love this last move right here. It took me a while to just figure out. But I love that little grab, how it moves everything up. One final jump here. You have to drop Yoshi to eat all five bats and then jump off. Everyone's favorite, pencil bat. <laughs> I don't know why people love pencil bat so much. I don't know. 
It was C mine for Grand Pearl 2. Yeah, it's pencil bat for Grand Pearl so. 3. I made that and like, that's funny. And then chat was like, don't take it out. <laughs> I don't know why. All right. Do y'all want to explain the next level we're going to? Because it's the tower. Ah, so we're going to a level called the Tower of Fate. Uh, Wait, it, you do that next? We're done with all these yeah, levels? Yeah, I think he's done everything. Yeah, but what about... Um... There's nothing left to do. He has yeah. to go there now. Wait, you go there before... We yeah, literally... Never mind. I'm, yeah. losing <laughs> I'm losing it. Sorry. So this yeah. level is a, a random level. I'm losing So it. you don't know uh, which, which rooms you're going to get inside the level. There's 81 potential rooms in the level. I've made 81 individual rooms. And uh, the spread, you can get a minimum of eight or a maximum of 20. So you really don't know. It led to some people being very confused and angry no. on their first oh, playthroughs. <laughs> because they're like, wait, why did I win on that attempt? Why did I lose on that attempt? So what he, uh, Mighty Mouse is doing right now is an optimization to basically pick the eight rooms. So if you look up in that timer right there, if you enter the door in a specific pixel, when the timer hits a specific time, you will get a certain specific set of rooms because there's no true RNG on a Super Nintendo machine. Like, we have to do it by pixels and frames. So if you find the right pixel, find the right frame, you can get what uh, rooms you want. Those are the counter in the top left that tells you how many yeah. rooms you've done. Uh, so he's now done, he's up to five rooms now. Uh, also, there's, a, there's something called hard mode in this, and that's why he's able to change his sprite. So to unlock the different characters you play as in the game, you have to do all 81 rooms consecutively. Also, it's a little jank, so sometimes it ends up being like 90-something rooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Occasionally, occasionally, for whatever reason, the, the room counter will just restart. <laughs> like, it just goes from, like, 70 to 1. And and if you've beaten it all, it's happened to you. Guaranteed it's happened to you. <laughs> uh, we've all gone through it, so everyone's had to suffer the same. So. Uh, sorry. Funny, funny yeah. enough, never hit me. Oh, screw but, you. But I also went from a PB of 41 rooms to just Yo. beating it. Y'all wow. saw Waka earlier, all right? Y'all saw well, the Waka gaming earlier? We're about to show you some real rhythm gaming right <laughs> yeah. here. So you always want to do something different with boss fights. And uh, with this one, I want to do something really different. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but Mr. Mighty Mouse actually has a DDR pad up here. He's actually dancing on it. <laughs> He's stomping on it lightly. So this, was, uh, this would not exist without D to the fourth. She is just amazingly talented. Also, when she made this, she's also apparently a DDR god. I played this and I could not beat it at all. It was so hard. <laughs> it's like, please make it a little easier. <laughs> it's also like slightly offbeat on some of them too, which is kind of funny. Like it, it just, it's really great. Oh yeah, this is all visual for me. If I try and do it by sound. So this is pure D-pad, or you can also use X, A, Y, and B just in case you had a bad D-pad. So we, we were pretty considerate on that one. Oh, see, I use left down and then X, A. Oh, really? Yes. I found that's easier. I thought about making a secret level if you got all perfects, oh, but I can't do that. So I was okay. like, ah, it's not going to work. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny because we, we talked about that. We were like, man, I wonder if you got all perfect if there was anything. <laughs> yeah. See, I thought it would be cool if it like ended faster based on how well you did. Like, oh, like, you it, like, not, like, we had to fill up the meter. Yeah, or it's like a health bar. You took him down. Yeah. All right, we are in the final area of the game. Luckily, there's nothing that hard left. Oh, God. <laughs> so you might recognize that overworld. That's actually the Grand Pearl 2 starting island, except now it's like in lava and stuff. It's like a story. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's the old, the old Doom of Valeria happened. Exactly, there, exactly. <laughs> What's fun? Well, what's fun is that Barb claims there's no lore in these games, but I definitely have headcanon that I have created. <laughs> um, like, even with the trailer that he put out for this game where Mario's, like, all grizzled and hasn't shaved in a while, so I feel like there's a big time gap between two and three, <laughs> lore-wise. No! D-pad betrayed me. So in this level, you'll see that he starts with a Goomba. When he throws it on the death block there, it turns into a ghost, and then it will reverse back and forward. And so the sprites are like coming back to life and then back to death over and over. The skull kills and the unk brings you back. Exactly. Just like real life. <laughs> Uh, 
honestly the kindest death that Yoshi's ever had. <laughs> Point. Yeah, the, the Yoshi abuse is going to continue in the second half. Uh, continues until morale oh, improves. No. <laughs> Do you guys know that's what happens to them when they turn into lava? In fact, that's how they build all the castles in the Mushroom Kingdom. That's where they get the bricks from. There you go. Yeah. I want to know why y'all getting mad at me about it. I didn't do it. I'm not the princess. <laughs> that's a nice little time save there. <laughs> it's a bit easier. Oh, that was close. <laughs> there we go. I really like this part visually. Like Yoshi literally turns to a skeleton yeah. right there. <laughs> sadly, we're, we're, we're a kill the animals uh, stream. I sure. was just about to say, sadly, save the animals is currently still winning. Ooh. Oh, see, I think you kill the Yoshis, you save the animals at GDQ. <laughs> yeah. The most confused crowd ever. <laughs> Yoshi's not an animal, he's a tool. That's true. He's a tool. He's a tool. Yoshi doesn't cuddle you at night. <laughs> he eats your stuff out of your fridge. That's what he's doing. So it was just the 4th of July, and uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Mario is a strong proponent of the Second Amendment. America! <laughs> Can we get a USA chant going on? <laughs> USA! 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 <laughs> I love it every time. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I found this sprite in the waiting section in Super Mario World Central, and I was like, why is there a gun in Super Mario World? And I was like, I bet I can make a level with this. <laughs> so, uh, oh. Yeah, the correct answer is why not? Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> you know why you can? Because of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to use the gun periodically to hit on-off switches or to get, like, super momentum. Here you're using it right here to get like tiny little jumps to avoid the uh, the, the disco shell. This Man. is just a really fun level to make. Yeah, it's a fun level to play too. There's a nasty Kaiser block there too. It, how is it nasty? It gives you a one up. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually um, like. If you jump and shoot up off that spring, you can actually shoot yourself with the bullet bill, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I came across the sprite, I was like, is this jank? And it's like, yeah, this is jank. And I was like, yeah, I'll put it in anyway. Why not? <laughs> Seems good. I really like the helicopter shooting yeah. and still going through. This part's very difficult. Nice. Oh. He was shooting a blank there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> and he just gets rid of his weapon. There you go. You got to drop it off. No one any evidence. Yeah, yeah. No exactly. evidence. Yeah. Throw it away. Yeah, throw it away. <laughs> Get rid of the evidence. Put it in the bin. <laughs> All right, we're now going to walk back to the ghost house to do a secret exit. Yeah, there's a lot of secret exits in the game. Yeah. I think this next secret exit is probably my, one of my favorite things I've made in the entire game. I was going to say, I think this is the one that definitely gets people to pop off the most um, as far as... But it also makes it impossible to do a deathless run, though. It's true. Yes, that's true. Yeah, technically. It's also the most relatable of the uh, <laughs> secret exits. <laughs> You'll see why here when we get to the main part of it. It's uh, pretty convoluted to find this secret, and I don't really give too many hints about this one, but... People figured it out anyway, that's fine. <laughs> it's one of those ones where it's like, there, there's, it felt like there was only one way to do it, right? Yeah. So we're bringing Yoshi all the way back here to sacrifice Yoshi, and there we go. All right, so what's so special about this section? In this section, uh, oh. I wanted to utilize Mario's death as a mechanic. So you saw that he died to the disco shell, or right here he's dying to the spikes, and then Mario is revived through the power of Satan and comes back. <laughs> is, I don't think the Unk is, is, I don't think that's what the It's upside is. down. Oh, okay, yeah. well yeah, that makes sense though. <laughs> oh. It was really fun to like, how many ways can I utilize Mario's death as a level design mechanic? Like I said, relatable level. <laughs> 
So here he has to crush himself with the coin block. It's actually no. really hard. Oh, no. oh, I just missed it. <laughs> Wasn't holding right. And he controls these coin blocks, too. Yeah. 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 If you never know, those blocks are actually controlled by the player with the D-pad, so it's very tricky. So when Mario dies, he also holds a block as he dies, too, so you can bring stuff with you post-death. Here he's got to blow himself up. There's also a silly Kaizo block right there. <laughs> So funny thing, when, Yo when Mario dies, Yoshi's tongue still stays out. You can actually use that after Mario has died there, too, which is also fun to mess with. <laughs> In a level of reviving, we still kill Yoshi, though. Exactly. Still gonna die. <laughs> this is the best one. Ah. Uh. Okay, so what's so hard about this is that every single Kaizo player in here doesn't miss shell jumps anymore because we've been trained. We do them a million times. But here you got to miss a shell jump. Yeah, you have to kill yourself with the shell. I feel like I made that when I was really mad at playing so many shell hacks. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> so dying here actually pauses time, which means you can actually catch up with the platforms and use them to uh, enter the door. We're actually coming up. The next level is probably going to be the hardest level in the entire game. Oh, yeah. No so, no, yeah. no, probably about it. It yeah, definitely no. is. If not the level, the boss. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I think you got it. Yeah, nice. It's actually really hard to get that left key that switch. Right it's, uh, yeah. it's finicky, yeah. yeah. And if you notice, he had to jump in the air to just get that little extra pixel over um, to the right on the gopher. So this was uh, the last of like the shout out levels I made. The first level of Grand Portal 2 is a level called Marathon, which features like a lot of these blocks and the same kind of pillars. Uh, I wanted to make this. I wanted to make this level like probably the hard. I, I was trying to make something more difficult, a little bit more challenging than the other ones. And uh, this level is a long level with a lot of nasty jumps. Yeah, he definitely succeeded. <laughs> and and a bitchin' soundtrack. Respectfully. Yeah, this yes. is the, uh, the I'm a huge Hades fan. This is the Hades soundtrack. And this was done by Composer, who just did an amazing job with this. And shout out to Composer. And there's a lot of little things here. And again, this, you have to be not just a Super Mario World nerd, but a Grand Pooh World nerd, you know what I mean, at that <laughs> point. But there are like little spots here that are just blatantly ripped out of the first level. <laughs> um, but like, it's like broken down, you know what I mean? Like, it's gone through the doom. So, this is very cool. Like if you're if you've played Grand Pooh World 2 a bajillion times, you really appreciated that. Oof. Oh man, that was nice sick. Job. That was sick. All right, this boss. That was way harder than it looks. By the way, <laughs> no, I can't oh, believe I you just one-shot that, dude. Speaking of things that are way harder than they look. All right, so you may recognize this. This is the boss from Grand Pooh World 2. It's the same Bowser. Now, what I did with this Bowser is that I took all of his like values and basically readjusted the fight to make it significantly harder. Uh, he has more health, he's way faster, his attacks are crazier. Uh, specifically, the hammers are really brutal. Mm -hmm. And I really can't emphasize the speed of this is really, really hard because so often you're trying to throw like your bullets here at him and he's already throwing out his next attack or you're avoiding his previous attack and his next one's coming out so fast, you know? Um, Jesus Christ. No! No! Oh, that was no! The only place I needed that to was be. the hit. Oh, wow. Wow. That was, still that was so though. good. God, that's okay. <laughs> it's uh it is it's hard to explain how hard this boss is. If you ever watch people do runs, they would regularly get here and then just lose like 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. Just like flat out. It's, it's an RNG boss, but I think this is one of the most fun things in the entire game. Is just I do love it. It's a satisfying boss. boss. Yeah. It was weird, too, because, like, the first time I played it, I was like, oh, it wasn't that bad, because, like, you know, you had the experience, but then, like, it never got easier. Oh, yeah. Really. <laughs> I never felt like it got easier. It was just like, no, that's how hard he is every single time. Oh, that was a nice dodge. 
<laughs> what? Oh, my me. Sick. What? Oh, yeah. my God. I had a lot of people mad at me when they were like, how do you even dodge these hammers? That's how, see? Just do that. <laughs> Easy. No, the fire. Speaking of hammers. Ooh. No! Oh, oh, no. I should have known. <laughs> he also has AI. Like, we should have Oh, yeah. 100% input AI. Again. 100%. You know what? I'm just saying, my sprite would crush this one. I'm just saying. Oh, you know what? We can, we can give you a try. <laughs> we can show y'all what Pooh's sprite looks like if I don't win here. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to try something fancy. Nice. Whoa, nice. whoa, whoa. He's just giving you hits. No. Nice, ah, the Bowser. greed. No, not even greed. That shell so, was coming for me. If you, so he'll throw, if he's already starting, like, a shell throw, and then you make him change phases, he'll do it twice. Yeah. Because he'll do the last one, and then he just repeats that same one start. Yeah. Let's go. go. Nice. GG. We're out. That's an incredibly difficult boss. That's fight great. so hard. Getting that in just a couple tries that's is great, really, dude. really awesome. That's great. Fight is wildly yeah, difficult. Great. Whew. GG. I tell Ooh. you right now, my stress is lifted now that you're past that boss. I can only <laughs> imagine how you're feeling, dude. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> that, that boss, legit. There's a reason, like, this run has so much time built into the estimate. Because you can just get to that boss and he can just stomp you forever. It's wild. I feel like now is a good time for an overly convoluted explanation of this puzzle. <laughs> so I, 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 I don't know if you guys know, but I put a huge puzzle at the end of Grand Pearl 2. And when I was making 3, I was like, do I do the puzzle again? Yes. And I thought that if I do, then people are going to be mad and like, why did you do that? Why did you put another puzzle in? But if I didn't, people are like, oh, I wish you'd put a puzzle in. So like either way, I was... I was damned if I did it, damned if I didn't. I would have been mad if you didn't put a puzzle <laughs> in, so. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so there's math. You have to do some math to get these ones. That's not really important. This part, though, um, is more important. Goal! More, uh, oh. um, this part's more <laughs> relevant. So, um, you remember that music that we heard earlier? Uh, you heard Gangster's Paradise. It's not Amish Paradise. You heard Gangster's Paradise. There's hot drinks. There's the Chrono Trigger song. Is mm -hmm. it the Chrono Trigger song? Yeah. That doesn't have any words. Yeah. And then there is Rick Roll. And right here, you actually need to, each one of those songs has like, Rick Roll is like never gonna give you up. All never right. gonna let you down. Uh, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Right? So you have to go through all these songs. Hot drinks really get you going, <laughs> fill you up. Do you wanna, you know? Look at that. Look at that little guy. No. <laughs> what we just beat took players like 10, 15, 20 hours to do. <laughs> that was fun. That, I, I had a really good time, but it was, what was, I was so mad because I was like, I knew it was the songs. And I kept like not, I missed like an up in hot drinks <laughs> the whole time. And I'm just like, I know it's yeah. the songs, you know? It was just pure content creation to watch streamers get mad at it. And not. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good puzzle. So this is the final level. Are you going to do the cape stuff? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll do cape. So if you do everything in the game, you can actually skip these sections. But because Mighty Mouse is Giga Chat, he's just going to do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it is kind of like, so it's kind of a meme. Kaizo players are bad at cape. It's n not really a meme, it's just true. Um, and um, so Barb gave us an option to just skip the cape. Not skip the puzzle, thankfully, nerds. Yeah, that one you, that one yeah. you can't skip. <laughs> uh, but he did give us options. Well, I didn't know you had a white cape. I didn't know that either, actually. Yeah. Now I'm curious what everyone's cape oh. looks like. Actually. I didn't know we all had different. Well, I don't know what your cape looks like. Yeah, we'll never know mine. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a bunch of garbled pixels. I love cape. Uh, I feel like I'd, I'd love to see more of it in hacks. I like to do as many interesting things with cape as I can when I, whenever I make a cape level. Cape is one of my favorite things to mess with. So this is the final level, and uh, it uh, starts off with three cape sections that are pretty extreme. They're pretty tough.
You yeah, have to get repeated spin flies here to clear the path. I think I, I think I got cape janked. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> it's also a thing, yeah. It's also a thing. Again, 91 was when this game came out. Just yeah. Old. It's the game's fault. It's not my fault. Mm -hmm. It's also layer two moving the spikes up, so you have to move through at a certain time over there. Uh, if you don't recognize this song, this is actually the Gwyn theme from Dark Souls, and this is another another oh, composer it jam. Is. Yeah. I didn't recognize. I didn't realize that. I'm horrible with video game music, though. Oh. Can you respawn? No, you can't respawn that, can you? I think you actually. Nah. Yeah, I think I said. Oh, oh. You, you can. Okay. I've. I don't think I've ever had to do it though. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can though. He was just trying to respawn that platform that he needed. Yeah, so you need to get P-Speed there to get, to get Spin Flight twice as you go through. Uh, you can jump and respawn those platforms. It is kind of tricky because uh, it's just it's hard to get the screen to move the way you want it to. Dude, who would have thought Composer could turn the Gwyn theme into something so good, right? Like, <laughs> Gwyn theme was already good, but man. <laughs> Fly there, fly back left, and fly back right again. This is a tricky, sticky flight coming yeah, up here. Yeah, right here with that slow down under the pencil. And then this turn. There you go. Nice. He's not in the clear yet. <laughs> well, no midway yet. There's the, oh. it's the biggest H ever. <laughs> Yeah, and what was so hard about that dive, he couldn't hit the wall. If he touched the wall, he wouldn't have the momentum to get back over to the uh, other one. So. But it's erroneous now because he's just going to one shot this side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice job. This one. Yeah, I feel like I haven't played very many cape sections that were going down. Yeah. So I tried to, I tried, yeah, let me try to make a cape section that goes down. So you have to maintain flight the entire time as you fly through here. I think cape is one of those things where good cape players make it look effortless, but it's so tough. Yeah, well, like when I watch BK cape, it makes oh. me feel bad. So you have to catch that key as it falls before it goes into the lava and get to fly through at just the right time. Sometimes you make something in a level that looks so cool. It's like, I know I can't take this you out. You can't take it out. Yeah. yeah. It has to stay. Yeah. <laughs> even, if, even if it's a little difficult or jank, whatever, it's got to stay, you yeah. know? I agree. Nice. It is. That was nice. slick. Yeah. So you I, have you can't slam there. You have to slide through the uh, the Sparky there. I stole that from you, Boo. Oh, I appreciate. It. <laughs> yeah. So the cape sections are done. Now we're just down to gigantic fire bars. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> I know this this section actually. You know what? We were talking about how everything's harder than it looks. This section's actually easier than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly just because you only have one option of where you can be. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's, you can't go anywhere. Ooh. Yeah, sometimes the fire bars can tag this. you from behind. Yeah. This is really cool, too. I just love this kind of, like, rotation. Yeah, like go in a circle, right? Yeah. So he needs the key here to enter the pipe. There we go. Nice. Bruising. So these uh, propeller blocks are another like really cursed item uh, from Super Mario World Central, and I, I frankly love them. I think that they're so cool. Oh, uh, did not know that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of jank with these. You can get away with some stuff. And I was like, ah, if the player can figure something out, that's fine. Wait, did you throw it against the ceiling and then move? Is that I what it threw is? it up and caught it while it was going oh, up. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that was Oh, slick. nice. Oh, slick. Now for the final boss of the game. Can you get a donation in right before? Hit it. How about this? $500 from Anonymous. <laughs> Hi, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous donates $500. Ow. Wow. <laughs> GDQs are the best. Who knew speedrunning could save lives? <laughs> Keep up the amazing runs, and thanks for making the world better. Yeah, I just want to remind you all, we're donating to raise money for MSF. What a great cause. Thank you all so much for your generosity. Woo!
So this is um, this is the final boss. Uh, so we've obviously done Bowser multiple times. We wanted a completely new Bowser and a completely new boss fight. So this one kind of throws out the rule book from the previous Grand Pearl 2 Bowser, and he has his own set of attacks and completely new move set. Yeah. You and see, like, he collapses into a pile of bones and re-emerges beneath you. And one of the things you're going to see here, those spikes that pop up, and those are the real kind of, like, enemies here more than anything, because those Ooh. spikes just make the room smaller. Um, and so you're going to try and kind of, like, strategically put those spikes in a spot that's not really bothersome for you. You also see in the background that Bowser has summoned an airship that is uh, firing cannonballs at you. <laughs> this is also the BFG division, which is perfect for a Mario game, I think. <laughs> it's completely perfect. Oh, oh we got I bombs. Get the glitch, yeah. Every once in a while, there's a glitch that happens that gets rid of these bombs. Oh, <laughs> come on. They're so hard. They just go anywhere. There's no rhyme or reason to where those bombs go. You can't, like, move one way. They're not really coming at you. They just go. So, you know what it was? It detected you played too well. I know. It's going to slow you down. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, he really, like, just Well, fast. that was weird. Yeah, I think my D-pad dropped it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm taking that death. We're, we're going to do a do-over. That's a mulligan. <laughs> There we go. That's the one issue with this Bowser, is attempts can take a long time. Yeah, it's got, it's random whether or not Bowser summons a bomb when he hits the wall. So it's not always a guarantee you're going to get a lot of hits. And you have to roll through his entire cycle if you don't get that extra bomb. So um, you can be really beyond there. OK, D-pad. It's all right, RNG gods. Just, just uh, hearing the music some more. It's so yeah, good. Exactly. <laughs> There's another composer jam. You yeah. get this. It is just crazy that a Super Nintendo can pump this out. So in this phase, he's actually summoning three spikes. And three spikes can be really nasty. That's why you see he put them in the corner strategically to try to get them away from the fight. But even still, you can get forced into a bad position sometimes. Yeah, one thing you can do is you can, he goes through the same rotation of attacks every time. So if you can memorize what attack he does before the spikes, you can kind of, you know, use that to your advantage and you know where they're coming and position yourself in a spot that's better. So right there. Or, oh, no. Oh, oh, no, the cannonball. All right. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. So right there, he actually, uh, he had a bomb and he refreshed the timer on it by kicking it up because Bowser was out. You! Oh, wow. wow. The bombs. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. They're so mean tonight. And that is literally, like, there's nothing you can do. You can't, you, he could be anywhere on the screen. The bombs don't care. If, he gets, if you get in the corner, yeah. it's, it can be yeah. real bad. Oh. So yeah, you see right here, he's basically going to be working with half of the room now. He's not going to go on the left side of the room. And so that's just really what makes his Bowser very difficult. And you'll see once the third phase happens, it gets even smaller. Oh, yeah. yeah the third phase changes the fight even more. Uh, I, I love this fight. I think this fight is so fun. I like it. I had to make something different. If any, if anything, I wish this fight was a little harder. <laughs> I don't know if a lot of people would be saying that for like 10 hours, uh, 15 well, hours. You know, they need to get good. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about y'all. Why are you getting so mad at me? Because I wanted more boss fight? I'm sorry. Such controversial thing. I want more game. Uh. Uh, so he's actually going to be juggling. Uh, it, it's so tough, but you can juggle multiple bombs at the same time to get as many hits as possible. Really, really tough to do that. The bombs can also collide each other. The other thing, too, is because these are bombs instead of shells, like, you can hit yourself with your own yeah. bomb, which is frustrating. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so we're now into the final phase of the fight. You can see right here why this is so dangerous. Now there are pits in the fight. <laughs> yeah, now oh that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's a that's a rough place. <laughs> 
Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me, just staying safe. It's a good, good duck on the barb sprite right there. <laughs> okay, that's gonna make it a little bit safer. No! no. Oh. oh no! <laughs> Every once in a while, this fight gets really, really mean. <laughs> <laughs> just nowhere that to was, go. That was that. was just inconvenient, you know. Uh, okay, here we go. Hey, we need to send our energy to Mr. Mighty yeah. Mouse. Can we get some hype? <laughs> Listen. Listen, I'm going to put in a, a Grand Pooh Bear guarantee he wins this time. All right. And <laughs> everyone knows that is 100% accuracy on there. <laughs> hey, right. mind if I read a really sweet donation here? Have at it. Python donates 250000 or sorry, whoa, whoa. $250. <laughs> 250000 <laughs> Mellow's tired. <laughs> Holy God. Listen, hey, Python, $250. Thank you so much. They say the Kaizo community is one of the friendliest and most inclusive I've been a part of, and it's more accessible than ever. Donating in honor of a community member who's no longer here with us, Kindred MSG, whose positivity was entirely outmatched and helped make the Kaizo Twitch community what it is today. Missy Kindred. Mm. Oh, I that's gotta let that one go, yeah. yeah. It took me so long, the like the skeleton drop where he throws the bones. That one took me so long to figure out how to deal with. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's just. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Why does this face seem like it's going on extra long? I'm saying. Oh, wow. This horrible art. a lot of bombs, but in the yeah. wrong places. No. Nope. All right. So be nice, one. bombs. Ah, uh, that, that was a horrible hitbox. <laughs> Garbage <laughs> hitbox. <laughs> Even if I had survived that, there was literally one pelted at my head. Oh, come on. We got this. All right. Woo! We need a spirit bomb this, chat. Pooh, can we get a guarantee for this try? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, uh, this was, see, the last one, I was, uh, that was not the real guarantee because um, I didn't stamp it with my approval. But yes, right here, 100% guarantee Mighty Mouse beats us. In fact, he's not even going to take a hit. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and these guarantees will happen or your money back. Guaranteed. Yep, well, I don't guaranteed. know GDP is going to support that <laughs> no, one. No, that's it. They are contractually obligated now. <laughs> no! Oh. I didn't see. God, he's mean tonight. <laughs> I said it, it wouldn't take a bit, is what I said. You guys misunderstood me. <laughs> you do it really fast. Yeah, the, the spike floor at a really inconvenient time can really be dangerous. Oh no, did my guarantee lose its touch? Like, this, yeah, this it might have. Kind of getting worried now. May, maybe the active jinxing isn't working out. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have used a different sprite. <laughs> I'm sure my sprite would be so much oh, easier. Yeah, yeah, Way yeah easier. sure. Okay, people out there, I'm not just trying to get him to use my sprite. It's very special. Literally. Oh. Okay. Oh. That was <laughs> close. Nice. It matters so much, like, what attack he has after his bomb. Like, ideally, you want to see this after his bomb right there. That's that's the one. 
Put the nice. spikes in the corner to keep them out of the way. That's a nice free hit there. Nice. 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 Oof. Okay. God, I'm nervous watching. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, come on. The, how, how is the glitch not happening? It, it, if it doesn't happen the first time, it's yeah, not going to happen. it's not going to happen. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, I feel like I've had it other times. That's a great placement for that final spike. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to put it. Um, Oof. That's not the attack you want to see after a bomb, though. So he's got uh, an unfortunate pattern here, but... Oh, my Whoa! God. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, beautiful placement. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> we've Man. we've spent more tries on this than even for Bowser, yeah. than the hard Bowser. All right, all right, all right, guys. Guaranteed, this is going down. The, we're we're allowed to say Bowser Bowser wins. Bowser wins. Nah, man, you you From won. One dude. More. You crushed it. Let's go one more. One, Let's go one more. One more. Okay, one more. Okay. The crowd demanded it. I mean, the crowd demanded <laughs> it. So, starting off with bombs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just remember, Mighty is doing all this for charity. <laughs> this is what he's going through for charity. <laughs> Tension's high right now. It is. Yeah, tension's <laughs> high. <laughs> Love the timing. Love the timing. Oh, come on! Dude, the... <laughs> what is going on with those bombs? <laughs> oh. Uh. Ooh. There yeah! we go! Oh, let's, go! let's go! All right! <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. We have 
a very quick victory lap. Oh. There's five more boss fights. Yeah, there's 17. <laughs> there's eight more levels. <laughs> So this is a really quick kind of victory lap here where you fight Bowser on his airship. Because I thought it would be cool, like, what's a better way to end the series and end the game with a final shmup fight? Yeah. Was there, like, was this, like, Cuphead inspiration or anything? Or just, like, just, you know, just... Maybe a little bit, you yeah, know. I don't know. Why, can I ask one question? Why is Bowser's ship so much bigger than ours? <laughs> Fair question. So much bigger. <laughs> I mean, he's Bowser, dude. It's, but it's large. <laughs> All right. And that's it. Time ends on Fade Out. Shout out to Pooh and Barb for coming out here. Barb for making this. The entire SMW Kaizo community. We ruined the world. Yeah. No yes. other games can happen. <laughs> Shout out to uh, my family, the entire Kaizo community. Uh, Y'all have anybody you want to shout out? Uh, shout outs to Kaizo Man, D to the Fourth, Nexus, Freakin' Hot, uh, uh, Composer, G Gamer, oh. Dan the VP. This hack would not exist without them. Super Mario World <laughs> Central, thank you so much. And thank you to Pooh. Uh, and thank yeah. you to Mighty Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, again, thank you for making three amazing games. Uh, your games have probably propelled me personally more than I've ever done anything for myself. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. Miles, oh. thank you so much for running this, having me on the couch. Um, we were supposed to race a few years ago, so I'm glad I could finally be up here with you. Thank you. Thank um, you. It was super awesome. And then I want to shout out Wilson Phillips, who made this banger song that we're about to hear right now. So, <laughs> you know. All right. And thank you, SGDQ, for having us. Yeah. <laughs> oh.